adding and subtracting algebraic expressions. Now, to understand this topic, it's important that you understand a few things. It's important that you understand what a term is. It's important that you understand what an expression is. It's also important to know what a pronumeral is, and also more specifically, what are called like terms. So we'll start with a term. So a term could be as simple as 2x. And when you have a term, you will have usually two parts of it. You might just have one or the other. You will have what's called the pronumeral. The pronumeral is the letter. And you also have what's called the co... I can't spell today, coefficient. All right, now the coefficient is the number in front of the letter or in front of the pronumeral. So next let's talk about what we call an expression. Now an expression is quite simple. A good example of an expression might be 2x plus 3a minus 1. And an expression is composed of terms. So this expression has three terms inside of it. All right, next we'll talk about like terms. We've spoken about pronumerals, so like terms now. Um, a good example of like terms would be 2x and let's say 3x. They are called like terms because they have the same pronumeral. The coefficient is different, but that's not important. What's important is they have the same pronumeral. You could also have just x on its own without um, a number. You could even have negative 2x. You can have x's with negative coefficients as well. These are all like terms. Uh, one that does throw people is something such as 5x squared. So 5x, these are all like terms, so I'll, I'm going to tick them all to say like, or we'll put an L. These are all like terms, but 5x squared is not a like term, and the reason it's not is because of this power of 2. Essentially this means I've actually got 2x's where when I look at these four, I've only got 1x. All right, last dot point. We combine like terms by adding or subtracting the coefficient. So I'll just show you a really basic example of this. Let's say I was doing 2x plus 3x. I can combine them by saying 2 plus 3 is 5 and putting the x next to it. Another way of looking at this would be, I mean, let's say we had 2a plus 4a. If you think about it, if I have two a's and then I have another four a's, all together I've got six a's. And you notice once again, we add the coefficient. 